Okay, you guys. Um, I just got up not too long ago, so excuse me if I'm a little bit spacey. Well, I can be spacey any time of the day, but especially in the morning when I haven't had all my coffee. So, still working on that big cup. Um, I get up, I check YouTube to see what's new, and the Black Widow trailer is up. Now, I was told, I think it was yesterday, yeah, yesterday, um, that it was going to be coming up today and maybe there was another one or two also <clears throat> shoot I can't remember the other titles I thought one was like Ghostbusters but I don't remember if that was supposed to come up today and then there was another one um oh was it Wonder Woman 1984 I'm not gonna watch that trailer you guys because I have such high anticipation for that film like I did for the first one after the initial um trailer that came out for the first one like about almost a year before it was released I stopped watching anything about it I was getting too excited and I, I had a I just didn't want to be influenced by anything that I saw about it and that included trailers reviews articles about it anything and I did the same I mean I had I took the same approach with Halloween 2018 also with Terminator um so I'm going to do the same with Wonder Woman because I just, I just don't want to know. I don't want to know nothing about nothing. And I already know stuff that I didn't want to know. But, uh, you know, I, these things are things that I was hoping would be like a surprise as I'm watching it. Oh, that person. Oh, why is he back? <clears throat> Still trying to figure out how they're working Chris Pine back into this one. Unless it's like maybe going to be flashback scenes or if they're going to end up pulling a thing like uh, where he had a son like they did with the show in the 70s the first season what took place in the 1940s and then when it came back for season two and three it took place in the 70s and Steve Trevor was there but it was the son of the other Steve Trevor and he just so happened to look it look exactly alike uh, or they happened to look exactly alike see I'm telling you I'm not awake I'm not talking right um well I do that all the time anyway so that's a tangent but and that has nothing to do with <laughs> with this trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up and press play. I used to have nothing. Those are clips. I got this job. Yeah, movie. This family. But nothing lasts forever. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never oh. easy these days. So what are you going to do? I've lived a lot of lives, but I'm done running from my past. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So are we going to talk like grown-ups? Is that what we are? You too, sis. I had a feeling that was her sister. What brings you home? That's not a surprise. We have unfinished business. We have to go back to where it all started. Oh. Lucky us. One thing's for sure. It's gonna be a hell of a reunion. Oh, him! Okay, who's he supposed Still fits. to be? Family. Back together again. Oh, you got fat. May, May 2020. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm. this looks like it's going to be great. And I did not start off being a Black Widow fan. And I guess I can't say that I'm a huge fan at this point. I mean, her character certainly did grow on me. But <clears throat> as I've explained in another video, 
I can't remember which one now. But when she first showed up in Iron Man 2, I was like, oh my gosh. I, I really did not like her at all. I'm, I'm not, not the hugest fan of Scarlett Johansson because she just seems to just be so like full of herself or she especially did when she was younger. And she's still sort I can still sort of see that now, but it feels like some of it has kind of faded away in her performance, whereas before it was just like really right there in her performance. And I was like, I really don't care for that at all. And so I never really liked Black Widow because of the actress that was playing her. I mean, I didn't hate her character, but I didn't particularly like her character. I wouldn't have been sad if she died. And then it ended up when she did die, I was sad. <laughs> So I, I think it was like, I think it took, um, I, I think it took, <clears throat> maybe it was Endgame that, that took that happening or, you know, at least leading up to that for me to finally sort of warm to her a little. I'm seeing shades of Iron Man 2 Black Widow in here with the whole thing where she comes down on the, she lands on like the walkway on her like on her foot and her knee or whatever and then she looks up she throws her head up like how she was she did that all the time in Iron Man 2 flopping her hair around doing all these sexy-ish motions and I was like you're just so this is just too much I can't I can't can't do it don't like you anyway <laughs> um so I, I saw a little bit of that in this particular trailer but she had her hair back in the braid so she couldn't flop it around you know show it off but um so this it looks intriguing I have no idea who what's his name shoot that guy what is his name the dude from stranger things i know his name it's right on the tip of my brain but i can't pull it out of my mouth um so i think i've probably seen his character before in comics maybe just in passing he certainly looks familiar to me as far as the outfit that he was wearing but i couldn't tell you now what his name is and I'm not sure what the connection is. Is he like a brother? I mean, all the girls sitting around the table, well, they are they sisters in the actual biological sense or are they sisters in the sense of their closeness, their, you know, their close relationship with each other? Did they train together and that's why they're sisters? I don't know. I don't know a huge amount about Black Widow's backstory <clears throat> with regard to the comics. It's just, it's, it's a pretty superficial um knowledge of her but um this is looking like it's going to be a lot of fun i i, I think it's going to be great personally um i i like the oh i hate when that thing does that it tells it does this little sound and i'm like okay something's been disconnected is it the camera well last time i checked it wasn't the camera so i'm not going to check now and i hope i'm right <laughs> So anyway, I like the, the interaction between these sisters. I think that was Rachel Weiss in there, right? I thought that I had read she was going to be in this. And then it showed her, and it was just such a brief clip. And the girl, oh, the girl who played her sister. I, I okay, yeah, I, it's, it's like triggered a memory. It's like, I know her. I think I think she's this girl from this. She I think she's the girl from Midsommar. Stupid movie. Absolutely awful movie. I hated it. Um, but she had also played in Fighting With My Family, where she had dark hair in that movie. And it took me forever. I never really figured out while I was watching Midsommar who she is, who she was, until I looked her up. I was like, oh, that girl. She has totally different hair. Anyway, tangent. Um, so she's like a sister. Rachel Weisz is a sister. And this dude. Oh, that really, really bucks me who the heck he is. I know exactly who he is, too. Anyway, sorry. Um. <clears throat> so at first I thought he was going to be a bad guy, but then it looks like he's not. He's like part of their little, you know, their crew. And it looks like um, the general guy from The Incredible Hulk and some of the other uh, Marvel movies is back. So, but I can't quite figure what's the time period that this takes place in because her hair is long. Is, does this take place between the events of Infinity War and the events of Endgame? No. No, she doesn't have that blonde thing in her head, in her hair. Oh, uh, shoot. Well, I don't know. I guess, I mean, it, they'll let us know when it happens. But I, I, have, I thought that it was going to take place in her early, early years. 
like before she, um, well, like in the super early years, I guess I assumed at first it was going to take place when she was still part of what she was part of before she became uh, a team of the Avengers, but I can't put my finger on it, can't quite tell, but we'll find out when we watch it, won't we? Which is just in a few months. Oh my gosh, like six months, you guys. I'm definitely going to see this on the big screen. I already know that uh, right away. Going to go see it on the big screen. It's going to be it's going to be fantastic. I can I can tell. And um, I well, as far as the trailer, I think it was well done. I I really don't have any complaints about the trailer. Yes, a skosh over two minutes, but it wasn't that it wasn't that bad. It was. It was constructed perfectly. Pretty much all of the Marvel trailers that I have seen, you know, for the Marvel, you know, for MCU stuff, all of those trailers have been great. I have never felt annoyed by any of them or, or felt that they were too long or draggy or whatever. So there's just really no complaint at all about this one. And it's making me uh, pretty excited about the upcoming film. Never thought I would say that about a Black Widow movie, but um, yeah, definitely going to be there May. I will not be waiting too long to watch it. I'll probably go see it pretty early on with uh, with my kids because I'm sure they're going to want to see it. And um, can't think of anything else to add about this. Like I said, it's it's still early for me, so I'm sure there's something I'm forgetting, which I do tend to do because I can be pretty derpy sometimes. Anyway. Okay, well, that's it for this one, you guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.